Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the Weekly Market Report. I'm A.J. Monty, Chief Technical Analyst with Sticky Trades. And yes, we've had another interesting week. This is the week before options expiration Friday, which is next week. And today we put out a whole bunch of trade publications for our members. Hopefully, if you are one of our members, you had a chance to pick those up in your email. Keep in mind that the SMS messaging will be coming shortly. We're waiting for the phone companies to whitelist us. We, once we have that clearance and we're guaranteed not to send out any spam, we'll be able to send out the SMS messaging notifying you that the trade publications are in your email. So let's get to the charts. If you look at DIA here, you'll see that yesterday, on Thursday and on Wednesday, we closed below that 20 period moving average. Let me zoom in there for you a little bit more. And today, even though we have a lower high, lower low pivot point there, we've just barely squeezed out a close over that 20 period moving average. Now, that is also on lower volume. The oscillators are mixed. The stochastic is still heading up while the CCI is still heading down. What does that mean for next week? Well, first, let me just say that the longer term target price down here at 341.84 for the diamonds is still in place. But I think we're going to get a little action in the meantime. I think we're going to go up Monday and Tuesday just slightly to 353.86. And then I think we're going to come right back down and start to take out these lows as we head into September. This is more or less a September possibly beginning of October goal right there at 341.84. So keep an eye on that. Another thing I want to mention is that on Wednesday, we do rapid fire stock analysis. And these lines that I draw here are called zip lines. I leave those in place until targets are hit where I'll either remove those lines, clean the chart up, or sometimes I leave them on there to show the accuracy of the charts themselves. So again, to reiterate, upside target at 353.86, possibly on Monday and or Tuesday, and then right back down to take out the lows at 349.65. Moving on to IWM as we keep this in alphabetical order. IWM is already broken below that 20 period moving average, and we came very close to that downside target of 187.62. And now, we see a drop in volume on the way down. We see the stochastic is oversold. CCI is oversold and starting to head up. So while, again, I keep that target in place, I think we're going to see a slight rally next week into Monday, possibly Tuesday. And then I think we're going to head right back down to take out those lows. Now, if you've been following along with my analysis, You'll know that if we get a pivot point here, I will be able to label that with a B. Point A is at the top. B would be a pivot point. If we go up and pivot, that would be a C. Once C is in place, you could most likely expect a lower D. That's an A, B, C, D pattern. Our members are going to have a recording of that for the educational library so you can practice over and over again. A, B, C, D patterns happen also on the way up. Here is an A followed by a B pivot point. See that? So here's A followed by a B. It pivoted right there. And then it pivoted back up for the C to a higher D. There it is. A, B, C, D on the way up. A, B, C, D on the way down is something you can count on and follow along with because it's a very popular pattern. It's really how the markets move in their ebb and flow of price action. All right, looking at QQQ, the Qs have hit my downside target right here of 367.74, and we have now closed below that fan line. Let me take a step back and show you what I'm talking about with regard to fan lines. We have a lot of fan line action. I actually have to go back to the monthly chart to show you that we have one, two, three, four, five, six fan lines. And the sixth fan line, which is the most vertical in the sequence of fan lines, has now been broken. 
Now, with the rest of the markets expected to rally Monday and Tuesday, I think we could see the same thing happen in the queues. I think we're going to go up to that fan line, and then the fan line is going to act as resistance, where for the rest of the week and maybe even into the following week, after expiration Friday, we could see lower. So here's my forecast again. Upside target at 370.55. Once we turn from resistance, I'm looking at a downside target of 363.28, and that is for the Qs. Remember that once that fan line is broken, the most extreme fan line, there's now a 90% chance that we will drop to the next fan line in the sequence. Look down below, folks. That would bring us right into September, the most notorious, along with October. Those two months could be devastating to traders who are on the long side. So be very, very careful with that. Looking at SPY, it's going to be pretty much the same scenario. We came within a dollar of hitting that downside target of 442.49. I think we will, but in the meantime, we're going to wrestle with that 20 period moving average. So I'm putting an upside target for next week, Monday and Tuesday, up to 448.40, and then a pivot lower as that moving average is now starting to head down. So after the pivot lower, I'm looking at 441.04. Let's take a look at the VIX. Remember, I give guarantees on the VIX. What is my guarantee on the VIX? The guarantee is that gap will fill. Now that gap price fill will be at $14.30. So I was off a little bit by 13 cents when I did the midweek report. I'm going to lower that to 14.30. So there we go, making the adjustment so it perfectly matches with that gap fill right there. So I'm giving a guarantee that the VIX will fill. Once that open gap fills, we then have a very high probability that the VIX is going to start to scream higher. Now remember, for those of you that are brand new to this type of trading, the VIX is a contrarian indicator. It's more or less inversely related to the S&P. So if the VIX starts to go up after it drops, remember, it makes sense, right? If I'm expecting Monday and Tuesday for the markets to rally, that would mean that the VIX is going to drop Monday and Tuesday. But after that, watch out. I think we'll be on the launch pad for the VIX and probably take out those highs. I'm not going to put that forecast in there just yet, but stay tuned as we move on week to week. I will eventually put a higher target on the VIX. Now let's look at some of the geopolitical news. This one came out on August 7th. This was big news. Not just a little bit of news here. This is big, big news, folks, because this is a, an immense drop in exports, a 14.5% year over year, and imports fell 12.4% which as you can see here in this title was much deeper than the economists expected. That's part number one. But China's problems are just starting to warm up. You remember the Evergrande crisis? Well, what's happening right now with Country Garden is going to be more devastating than Evergrande. Look at this chart and you'll see that the inventory here is building up. Now, what is very different is that when you take out a mortgage in China, you start paying that mortgage payment even before the closing date or the equivalent of the closing date. And if you're building a home or a building, you are paying those monthly payments on that mortgage before the building is even finished. What does that mean? It means that the developers are starting to get their money before they even complete the project. And this is a big Ponzi scheme happening in the real estate market in China. And the bubbles are starting to burst. And once the little bubbles start to burst, the big bubble bursts. And watch out, this big house of cards comes tumbling down. And when you think that's bad, look what's happening here in the U.S. Moody's downgrades 10 banks and puts six others on notice. In other words, if... If you don't get your house in order, Moody's is putting the pressure on six other banks, then you too will get a, a credit downgrade over time. So this is what's happening here in the U.S. And again, because of the banks and their problems, there's a credit crunch. And I want this to soak in. I know there's a lot of text on this slide, 
but let this soak in because the money supply has now shrunk for eight months in a row. Why is that a big deal? Because if you look at the data coming out about the money supply, you'll see that this has only happened four times since 1870, right? Now, I'm not giving a guarantee here, but I've been talking about a recession for over a year now, and now I'm moving from the word recession, the R word, to the D word. I do believe that we will see a prolonged recession, which is, again, defined as a depression. No one's going to want to touch that one. They could barely define what a recession is. Well, they're trying to redefine what a recession is. But I think we're heading for a depression. Why? Because each time the money supply has dropped by this much, since 1870, every single time it was preceded by a depression with double-digit unemployment. Read on in this article right here. And you'll see how serious this is. Now, I'm not trying to scare anyone here. I'm just trying to prepare everyone, including our members. You could make money on the way down in this market. You just have to know how to do that. There's lots of cash that could be taken out through credit spreads and the options. Or if you're an investor and you hold long stocks, you could sell covered calls. There's very basic things that you can do to help bring in the cash. One of the strategies that we use for our members is we find that cash, we put on spreads, we take that cash and we invest in other types of instruments. You know that I'm a big trader in silver. Well, we bought all of our silver position back and we add a little bit more cash. I mentioned that in the midweek report. I'll continue to report on my silver position as we move forward. Right now, I just want to make sure that you got the geopolitical news because a lot of people were screaming for that last week, and I didn't give them enough. So hopefully this will satisfy that appetite for the news. And stay tuned to this report that comes out every Saturday morning and the midweek report, which goes out to our members. So I'll talk to you on the next video. Have a good weekend. So long. Hey everyone, Jason here for Sticky Trades. No need for long intros, let's just dive right into it. Are you ready for an exciting offer? Well, we've got a quick promo video just for you, introducing our amazing free 15-day trial of StickyTrades.com, the ultimate starter package that includes a full 15-day free trial period to enjoy and explore all the features and benefits. Join charting coach AJ Monty every week for his number one service rapid fire weekly video covering 30 stocks in 45 minutes from you, the webinar guest, giving video covering stocks and options trading. Gain access to our university where you can access a treasure trove of free training videos. And that is not all. By signing up today, you'll also get a fantastic bonus. How about a free seven day trial of two revolutionary artificial intelligence bot trading platforms that we use, plus an exclusive offer of a 30 day free trial on SignalStack, an incredible automation platform that converts your alerts into real trades in your broker accounts. It's exciting, right? All of this and more can be found on our website, stickytrades.com. Don't wait any longer. Click the video or link below to head straight to the free sign up area. So what are you waiting for? Click to sign up for free and start your journey to trading success with Sticky Trades.